Anton McCall. First at 11, a controversial Civil War statue will stay in its place following a vote this evening by Allendale Township leaders. Fox 17's Marisa Overly is live with a look at that debate. Marisa? Yeah, Angelina, as you can imagine, as you can imagine, that uh, decision brought on a lot of emotions by the people in attendance at today's meeting. Some saying it's a great day for Allendale, while others calling it a shameful one. Now, township trustees met tonight to vote on a recommendation brought forth last month by an advisory committee, which suggested removing and replacing the statue, which shows a Confederate and Union soldier standing side by side with a slave child at their feet, with another statue of three Union soldiers from West Michigan. As discussion began, a number of trustees spoke against it, listing individual conversations with community members in not wanting to rewrite history as the reasons why. Now, a motion to instead move the statue from the Veterans Garden of Honor to a nearby museum, which was seen as a compromise where its full history and the artist's intent could be put into context was proposed but ultimately failed. Thereafter, a trustee introduced another motion to keep the statue as is and repair the damage done to it this past summer, which passed in a 5-2 to two vote. I'm glad that you have stuck to your guns because just because you don't like something doesn't mean everybody has to change for you. The committee was only there to make recommendations, and you took some of their recommendations. I'm truly, truly disappointed. I, I just can't even believe that the five of you cannot see beyond your own white skin to understand how hurtful that statue being there is to certain people in this community. Now, in its recommendation last month, the advisory committee, they also suggested expanding the Garden of Honor to include uh, statues that honor other soldiers like the ones who fought in the Gulf War. Now, trustees tonight, they did show support for doing so, but decided that they were going to hold off on any decisions related to that recommendation for now. Reporting live in Allendale, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.